Good morning, everybody. Today's a very special day. Is our four week anniversary, right? What is it, a four week anniversary? What is this? Well, they turn one month today. It's their birthday. One month. Oh, Misty wants to play with the puppies. Okay. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. They want to eat and she wants to play. So what we usually do now for the last couple days is we take them out and we let them run around and just play and get their exercise and let them, you know, look around, see what's going on. This one. Mm -hmm. This one, look at <laughs> playing tug of war. Look, at, here comes Bossy. I got it. Oh. She wants to play. So they are oh. in the ah. stage ah. of Thank fighting you. and playing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get and day. smelling. Ah. Look, the mom's gonna come over Fight and Missy. Fight Missy. Fight now she's gonna play with them. <laughs> These two over here, these are our lovers. They're very, they're very soft going. They're not as hyper. They just want to be loved and cuddled. These two are the most rowdy ones. She is like queen bee. Queen bee. And then this one over here just wants to eat. He's very rowdy too when he's done eating. But the mom, Missy's been playing with them lately. What are you gonna do, Blue? What are you gonna do? Where are you going? Where are you going, baby? He's still, <laughs> he, he gets close now and um, wants to play, but he's still very, he's very scared. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, 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 it touched you. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. Did you just have a baby? Of course they like you. Papa. Really? Fat boy? Fat boy? Oh. Like my Oh, okay. Okay, wonder, wonder, wonder. Don't oh. bite my chip. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. You got two puppies. Yeah! Do you like me? Whoa! They're fine. Do I get me? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, don't bite me. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Oh. She sees you. She's coming. Oh, you gonna play? Mom, look at the baby. <laughs> this little bad girl. He wants to play, he wants to play. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get out of there. Again, huh? Get out of there. <laughs> you can tell that they're still trying to get their balance. <laughs> Here she comes, she wants to play. She's an OP. See, potty training in process, people. Good boy. Potty training going down. So he just went over to the mat to go pee on the mat. Her too. And she went over to go pee on the mat as well, as you guys can see. So. Um, I know a lot of dog trainers. Oh, there she goes. Look at her. Now she wants to play. Um, a lot of dog breeders, they use, what do you call that stuff? Mulch. They use mulch. Um, the wooden stuff they use for rabbits? Yeah, for the puppies. 
Um, I know they do it to keep them warm and it's easier to clean and everything. But um, if you're trying to, uh -oh. the, the pee leaked over. But she she knew to go to the the pad. Um, if you guys are trying to potty train as soon as possible, it's best to start with pads when they're little, so then that way um, they know the smell already. Look at her. Pads have like a scent to them. They have a scent to them, so they they learn at a very young age that that's where they need to go potty. So right now we're gonna change the pads, um, get them all squared away. They just ate, so it's not like they're hungry. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. She found a good spot. She found a good spot. Oh, you need to get it. Oh, you need to get it. Get it, Blue. Good, it's your baby. It's your baby. So if you guys can see, my husband actually tapes it down a doggy mat onto the floor so it stays on the floor um he uses i don't know what kind of tape to use it's just painter's tape painter's tape so he puts it down so that actually He's stays the down that one. uh for anybody that wants to know or has a dog or has a puppy that when you lay down the mats they don't stay and they get crumbled up and all that good stuff we just tape it down so then that way it stays down and then you just bring it up and throw it away this is their puppy crib. As you guys can see, the mat is as big as the crib. He gets the XXL mats, so it takes up most of the space, and then we give them a little blanket and stuff. So they still have room to play and everything, so if anybody's wondering. This is puppy number one. This is Bossy, our firstborn. Look how beautiful, look how fat she is now. And uh, yeah, we're keeping this one. Yeah, this is the one we're keeping. We did name her Bossy. And you know what it is? It's the fact that she starts to do everything first. Wow, five pounds, 12 ounces. What, big girl, that she, one. She, oh, he peed. Mm. She grew a pound over the week. Yeah, I feel every week they it's one pound. All right, he's got to clean oh, up. Pound a week? Pound a week. He's got to pick up pee-pee. Yeah, that's the second one. You sure? Yep. Oh, you can see his coat really pretty. He... Look at it. This is second, second born pup. We call him the cow. Mm -hmm. Not his original name. No. Um, but this is how we identify him, cow. And he yeah. does have a gray coat. So if you can see him next oh, to his... Heavy. Look, if you can see him next to his dad, he is not black. He is blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My dog is scared of them. So let's weigh him out. All right, number two. He's very active, but he also All right, loves... five pounds. Five pounds, 14 ounces. No, oh, he's the biggest. Almost six. All right, number three is this Junior. Junior, look at this one. This is Junior. This one, this one's a lover boy. That dog, that's what he is. He loves to be on the laps, on someone's lap. This is, this is what he does. If I'll be if I sit on the floor, he'll automatically come on my lap and fall asleep. Um Yeah, this guy This guy reminds me of her to be honest. She's mm -hmm. she's very cuddly, mm -hmm. very loving, always wants to be pet, always wants to be on the lap. No, don't do that on me. Mm -hmm. She's trying to stimulate it to go to her in the restroom. So we're gonna we're gonna weigh out number three. Yep. Whoa, he's five eleven. Oh, big boy. Yeah. Number five. Yes, I said five. This is the last one that was born before number four we, uh, passed away. So mm -hmm. number four passed away because of uh, it was a, a deformed puppy, to be honest. So we had to put him down. Yeah, the f he had he was born with the fat. So he's the fifth puppy. Look how this guy. He's a very calm dog. He's like very. Bet you can tell he's gonna be very, very submissive to whoever's gonna own him. Mm -hmm. so. And he's the smallest, like the shortest. He's 415, five pounds flat. No, oh, he is the smallest. Yeah, he's about to be, yeah, he's, he's, five, he's five pounds flat. There you go. Put it that way. I keep a bottle of uh, Lysol. 
I don't I don't get paid by Lysol. I don't promote mm, Lysol. Yeah. This is just me disinfecting my house because I have them inside and and I'm a little bit of a clean freak. So if the dog pisses, I'm not just gonna wipe it off. I'm just, I want to spray it, you know, make sure it's disinfected, you know, clean. Yeah. So today marks four weeks, a month, and they're gonna be. They're getting ready to get winged off the nipple pretty soon, so this is what I do. This is the second step. What I do is I like sprinkle it on top of a uh, cable, you grind it, or like up to like, you know, coffee grind type. You know, very small. Mm -hmm. You know, not that small, but grind it up, put it on top, feed them, and little by little, they're, they're gonna be off the nipple pretty soon. I'm gonna start doing this actually today. Mm -hmm. See how this goes. Up, and we were told as of four to six weeks, the mom starts to wing them off of blue. Look at this, look at this. He's scared. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with his life. And it keeps going after him. <laughs> Get your puppy. <laughs> so, um, the mom will start to wing them off of her nipple within the four to six weeks and actually her milk starts to dry up on its own. So as much as they want to eat, there's not much milk in there. So we have to start giving them um, do uh, puppy food at four weeks, four to six weeks because they are oh, not going... Before it goes behind the <laughs> They're not going to get all the nutrition from their mom anymore. So. Um, that is our next step now with the puppies. So they are now starting foods and playful and playing. And she still eats their poop right now, but I'm sure she's gonna stop. Hopefully. Yeah. After uh, so after some dog food, I think she's gonna stop. She's like, oh, this is not my food. I hope so. I do not get paid by any type of companies. It's just me trying to keep my dogs healthy. Yep. So I put a little bit of dog food and puppy formula put together. I actually have to grind it up for them to eat. So they're kind of like stepping in it. That's not poop on the side. That's actually dog food. They stepped in. Um, yeah, that's dog food. Dog food. So let's see how this goes. Once they start eating, then then we can go. This big guy eating wastes no time. He's licking that crap off the floor. Look at him. Oh, do you too? Yeah, they're eating it off the floor, but... What are they eating? Yeah, the big one's very curious about what's in that bowl. So he's just gonna keep licking away. Look at him. He's gonna keep licking away. He doesn't know that the food's inside. No, -uh, but he's a fat boy, that's why. He's the biggest one out of all of them, so he's gonna get it, get, get to it first. Alright, you guys, so that concludes our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next week, we'll do another puppy update, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.